Elliot Friedman, there he is. Uh, Elliot, we found out uh, earlier today that there was a promotion in the Capitals front office. Uh, Brian McClellan going a notch up. Uh, what does that mean not only for him, but uh, the state of that front office now moving forward? Well, one of the things, Jameson, that was announced today in, in the same time as that was a promotion for Chris Patrick. And, uh, you know, there was some talk that whenever the day would come that Brian McClellan would be done as president of the Washington Capitals. And obviously, because he won a Stanley Cup there, he's got a long, long uh, line to run that organization. That Whenever the day would come that Chris Patrick would, would be his successor. And I, I think the fact that the announcement went that way today has given a lot of credence to that theory. Uh, McClellan's obviously won the Stanley Cup there. You see his resume there. Uh, I think he's got an excellent relationship with ownership and, and Dick Patrick, who was also promoted today as the, as the chairman of the team. Um, you know, I, I think they really believe in him and believe in his vision. But Chris Patrick, who got promoted today, I think in a lot of ways is being perceived as the successor whenever the time comes. Washington is a very strong front office. They have a lot of people there who are pretty highly respected. Ross Mahoney, who is, does a lot of their drafting. Uh, Don Fishman, who's their capologist. Danny Brooks is a guy who's been there uh, for a long time as a scout there. They've got a lot of people who have good reputations. Uh, but I think what we kind of saw today was a bit of a, an idea on how the succession plan will be whenever McClellan decides it's time for him. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly said last week that the NHL wants to have regular participation in international tournaments. Uh, everybody wants that. How close are we to this becoming a reality? Well, I, you guys gave me some homework today, Jameson, to do me some work on this. I, I don't like homework in August. Ontario is one of the places where school doesn't start until Labor Day. So I, I, I really didn't enjoy this today, I have to tell you. But uh, I, did, I, I made a few calls on this, and I, I think, look, there's definitely an understanding that the Olympics, we have to get back there. The players want it. I think everybody understands from a pure visibility point of view, it needs to happen. And I, I think everybody wants that to happen in 2026. What is being discussed is what can happen before that. And the target zone is February 2025. Obviously, as you know, there was some talk about a World Cup. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. I don't think it might. I, I'm not sure convinced yet it's going to be a World Cup. Uh, the situation with Russia is still a major concern for a lot of the countries, especially the ones in Europe. So I think what they're talking about is what can they do in February 2025 that is unique, is exciting, and it gets the best players from all around playing against each other. And I think what we might be talking about here, I think it's more likely than not, it's in somewhere in North America at that time. I think there's some hope from some people it could be in Europe, though I don't know how possible that is. I think it's going to involve NHL players uh, from different countries, and they're trying to think of something creative and unique that they could set up in February 2025. But the one thing, Jameson, I really noticed today and just in my conversations was there is a realization that we have to get back to bets on best. The sport needs it from an international point of view, and the players crave it, and I think everybody sees that. Well, speaking of the best, Connor McDavid, no argument there. Uh, the Oilers came up short of the Stanley Cup again last season. Why do you feel, or why do they feel, I should say, like this season can be their year to hoist Lord Stanley's Cup? Well, one of the you know one of the things I do in the summer is I play in, in Zach Hyman's golf tournament, and uh, one of the uh, this year he had both McDavid and Drysaddle there, and you know they're golfing, and I really don't want to bother them, but I, I think one of the things that you definitely have a feeling of is that they really regret the way the series ended against Vegas this year. That was a two-two series, and and Vegas beat them, and I, I think that. They kind of looked at Vegas winning the Stanley Cup, and I think there's a feeling of what could have been if they would have won that series. And, you know, I think McDavid and Dreisaitl in particular are guys who have enormous expectations of themselves. They demand the best of themselves, and they expect to win. But I think, Jamison, what they're seeing there right now is they feel they have a team that is good enough to win and, and can win. And, you know, and Mark Spector wrote a story last week where basically McDavid talked about how, you know, they want guys back next week in Edmonton so they can start running their practices. And I think there's a lot of buy-in there. You know, Edmonton can win the Stanley Cup. 
I think that, but more importantly, they think that. And I, I really do believe that McDavid and Dreisaitl will accept nothing less. And I think the, the organization, including the other players, falls in line with that point of view. All right. It'll be interesting to see how things play out this season up in Edmonton. We apologize for the uh, summer homework assignment. We do appreciate you turning in your work on Extra credit. Not, yeah, extra credit. In <laughs> Ontario, did, did kids not have like summer reading lists or anything like that? We, in Ontario, we don't pay attention to summer reading lists, Jameson. And what's the deal with the ties? It's August. Come on. Jason, hey. man, your first day, open caller uh, in August, man. Hey, let's Welcome promote this guy. Wow. Let's promote this guy. <laughs> wow. Really president of Hockey there. Ops here. Yeah, like let's go. <laughs> Elliot yeah. Friedman with the latest on oh, all things hockey that. as well as fashion wants <laughs> us to loosen up the ties. I respect that.